What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another video, man. It's been a minute since we've done one of these, man. This week in Valorant, it's been about eight months since we land, or ran our last one here. Um, today might be a little extensive. I'm going to try to keep it short and simple for everybody. But, uh, you know, I've always loved this series, and I'm going to bring it back now. I've been a little off the map. Um, not that this is going to be an update video by any means, but I've just been grinded. I've just been putting in some time, uh, a lot of extra time uh, to myself and my team. And I'm happy to say that, you know, we've... Wielded, we've yielded some results because of that. Um, first part of the video, usually, that we do when the tournaments are going on will always be kind of like our update or breakdown of how things are going. So let's jump right into it with the America's Kickoff. Uh, for everybody who doesn't know what this is, this is the Valorant Champions Tour VCT. And this is the new season, 2024. Last year, obviously, EG won it all. And, uh, you know, it's been very uh, it's been very interesting how the offseason has went, man. A lot of pros... You know, just really anybody in the scene really going back and forth, talking about how much they hate it, uh, you know, how much they wish it would change, how much they wish in the, they wish Riot would listen to people. Uh, it's definitely been something, you know, in my opinion, that has definitely got on their radar. So I know a big thing that the pros are saying is that they want to play. They just want to play the game that they love, the game that, you know, has you know put them in the position that they're in today and riot has this strict thin schedule nothing too crazy i mean if you're losing out in this kickoff tournament you're not playing for the next two months it's just practice so it's really fucking uh rough for really everybody involved the pros and the fans but i guess it's just the system that they're running with so we have three groups here um this has been called the group of death group b as you can see, there's a lot of heavy hitters in this. Hunter Thieves going out early. Um, but I don't really want to go too in-depth with like my predictions or anything like that. But how it works is if you qualify through the upper bracket, you automatically make it into playoffs. And then if you place high in playoffs, then you go to Masters. If you qualify through the lower bracket, the loser bracket, you stay alive. So you play in a play-in tournament where all the losers are. And if you stay alive, you push yourself through to playoffs. Um, so really no crazy things have happened right now. Um, the people who have lost, I think it's fair to say, you know, you, you've expected them to lose almost. Um, I think this G2 game was probably like the closest one of them all. Um, they had a pretty big lead on ascent here and crew kind of failed to close it out off of a Kesnet 30 bomb, you know, something that they, uh, Something that a little curse that they carry, you know, they've been doing that for a while now. But um, the Cloud9 and Energy play today, and Loud and Leviathan, so there's going to be some banger matches. Um, and EMEA, this is the one I've been following probably like the second most closely. Again, nothing like too crazy here. Uh, a lot of like pretty expected results, in my opinion, at least. Um, you know, you see your like big name teams coming through. I guess you could say Team Heretics versus Carmine wasn't like the most expected thing of all. I think Carmine Corp has a good new team. Shout out Narrate. Um, you know, I hope he's doing good over there. But uh, same exact thing with the MEA. Uh, the schedule is just a little bit different. Their matches are more condensed. Uh, the Pacific, definitely something that's been catching some people's eyes, mainly because of this team going out early to global esports. Uh, Bleed has made some interesting decisions. Oops, I mean to click that. It's made some interesting decisions and put Ye on some questionable roles here. So Ye's been playing a little bit of Sky, a little bit of Viper. Not going the best with him, but he's now on a 10-match loss streak with three different organizations. Uh, he's been getting a shitload of hate. I feel really bad for him, and you know I hope that he is able to power through that because I'm not going to say that's not fair. When you're a pro, you sign up for that type of stuff. Uh, but... Everybody just holds him to this crazy standard. And the moment that you're not dropping 30 every game, people are just going to you know, start saying obscene shit. So nothing, again, nothing too crazy going on in the Team Secret League. Um, Talon almost qualifying, you know, came up short against Team Secret, who they beat once already. But, you know, shout out uh, Governor and shout out Ben, you know, the boys from NA showing out over there. And, um, and then we have our Challengers League. So... Outside of VCT, the Challengers League, the League 1 under VCT. So uh, the qualifier happened last month. I know it's not this week in Valorant, but I'm just trying to do like a more general recap since I've missed so much. Um, our first four qualifying teams were SAD Esports. 
Oh, I'm sorry, this is incorrect. Um, our first four qualified teams were SAD, Esports, YFP Gaming, the Glazers, and Winthrop University. I think that uh, three of these were pretty expected. I think the Winthrop University was a little um, a little more unexpected. Um, you know, I was happy for them. They were the first collegiate team to make challengers, and, you know, I'm sure they've been, like, working hard. You know, shout out to them. Um, but we ended up qualifying in the second one here through the upper bracket. Uh, so core qualified and then in the lowers thinking men qualified um, in that time we had lost to thinking men and sad esports so I have carried this curse on this org for as long as I can remember that if I lose to someone in a tournament they end up winning it or they end up qualifying and somehow some way it still stayed true uh, we had some pretty high placing like collegiate teams and teams that have been together for a while here um, then there were also some pug rosters that made a run I mean, the only real update that I have for this is just, like, how horribly uh, set up uh, the Challengers League was. I mean, I, I don't know what cut type of meth is being smoked in, like, the people who are, like, organizing this, but we were given the 16th seed um, for the first qualifier, and then the second qualifier we were given the 9th seed, which is better, and, you know, I'm, I'm not really worried about it. I was never upset at the seed we got. I was more so, like, taken aback, like, the fact that that went through. Um, a team, let's see if they're on here. I can't find them right now, but the team, uh, Mad Science, was given the 10th seed in the first qualifier. I personally have never seen this team past rank top 40 in NA. Um, I know that there were some questions asked about them, not from my end, just uh, just kind of like from like the community. And I believe the response was given something along the lines of they have the core three buff since they've been together for so long. So, again, I don't give a fuck. I, I, I qualified. I could have had last seed. I still would have qualified. It doesn't matter to me. But we were ranked 13th in NA, and we have had a core three players of me, Nerve, and Snarly for eight, seven months now. So, again, I, I just don't know what's going on. Um, I know that they aren't investing big money into casters. I know a lot of people had complaints with casting and stuff like that. I'm not really sure about production. Um, but... A lot of streams weren't even being run, and to be honest, it's kind of just sad to see. Um, so yeah, nothing really going on outside of that. Getting to kind of like some of our Twitter stuff here, a huge thing that's hit the market this week is the VCT capsules. So when you're buying this, you're getting a player card, you're getting a gun buddy, and you're getting the classic skin. And this is upgradable, and it sounds like really dope. I'm not going to go through and do a tier list. I'll just say kind of like my favorite skins per like uh, region. I'd say Cloud9 and Leviathan, Loud Furia are probably my top four for this. Uh, the animal themed ones are like really fucking OP, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, for EMEA, definitely like. Oh uh, man, it, it, it's hard for EMEA. I kind of like the Liquid one. The Koi one is definitely the best over here, I think. Uh, I think the Fanatic one is cool as well. Uh, for Pacific. Uh, definitely Gen G has like a really badass one. The Tiger, that player card is fire. Talon has a really fire one. Um, I think everybody else like missed pretty hard. I know the Sentinels was supposed to be something else, but um, it's definitely a great investment. You know, I think it's 20 something dollars to buy one of these. Supports, you know, your favorite pros. Uh, I think it's really cool they add this to the game. And I really hope that they're, they continue into this direction. Obviously, I know that you can't add skins for like tier two or challengers teams. That would be like totally ridiculous. Um, but creator codes are something that I can see coming in the near future, and I honestly really hope that they do. I think that would be hugely beneficial to all types of content creators, all types of people who stream, who are aspiring pros or in the tier two scene, whatever it may be. Speaking of tier two, Mr. Screwface has dropped a shirtless LFT video. Um, definitely a classic. I'm not going to sit here and tell you to watch it. Um, the TLDR here is that Screwface has been getting toyed with for many, many, many months now. And I'll try to give you a quick breakdown where he was a basically he was basically verbally confirmed with for the C9 IGL spot when Ye and Vanity left, and that fell through. Uh, then he didn't get to play with any Challengers teams, so he joined the EG second man roster. And, you know, he was working there, you know, working hard. They end up winning the championship. He was the registered six man for their team. That's why he was on the stage holding the trophy with them. 
And after that, EG goes through that big rebuild process where um, he was in like the last 10 people, I'm pretty sure, for like the main roster spot. And he was competing against, I think, Nature for like the position or something like that. Uh, I don't know if he was verbally confirmed by any means, but I know that he was definitely a finalist and, you know, it fell through. And, you know, it's unfortunate. In that time, he ended up assembling a team. Uh, he kind of like joined the core of like a TSM slash phase challengers team. I believe it was him, Baby Bay, GMD, Corey, and Seven, I'm pretty sure is what it was. And there's been some other people on that team that I've seen. I've seen uh, Clear play on it, uh, Poised has played on it. And he basically assembled that team. And he was looking for orbs, he was looking for orbs. He finally got an org. He finally was about to put the pen to paper, and then he got mutinied from his own team. I don't know the details other than that. You know, the group of people decided that they didn't want to have him, and they chose someone else. So now, you know, after falling down ten flights of stairs, you know, here he is. Um, I think he's a great player. I think the best part about him is uh, his energy. Uh, I've never seen this guy be negative. It, it, I wouldn't say it's impressive. It's more so weird, like like how consistent he is with the positivity. Um, I've never really seen this guy shit talk anybody. I've never really seen this guy actually get mad. It's more of like a joking yell. So, you know, I wish the best for him. And, you know, I think that he'll be totally fine. Um, ranked has been a big topic, not just this week, but just in the entire act. I think the, this week was the first time in the act that we had 500 radiance. So that's definitely a first, um, definitely haven't seen that before. I initially was kind of like saying like, you know, what are you guys talking about? Like who gives a shit that there's not a lot of radiance? It's because the challengers qualifiers coming up and people are practicing and stuff like that. And then I started to realize like, you know, the qualifiers were fading away. Like, you know, people are supposed to be playing, you know, it's pre qualifier and like, we're still not filling up. Um, ranked is a complete joke. You know, if you didn't, if you didn't know that already, you know, you do now, I guess, but uh, the big problem is that there's nothing to play for. I was talking about this on stream the other day, but um, if you aren't a pro, if you aren't an aspiring pro, and you aren't a content creator, there is no reason for you to have Valen on your computer. And some people were surprised when I said this, but if I wasn't a pro, I would never have this game on my PC. The community is heinous. There is nothing to play for. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say that the game isn't fun. It is very fun, but it's just defeated every shred of motivation or like you know willing to play that you have is just defeated when you know you're made fun of for trying hard or you're made fun of of taking it serious or you're made fun of for trying to win you know it's like it, it's just crazy to th it's just crazy to think about um we had a pretty funny tweet here uh this was from the challengers qualifier i guess i kind of organized this a little better but you guys usually know how it goes i just like scroll through you know and like add some stuff but um the background about this, actually, what comes around, what goes around, comes around. Karma is a bitch. Uh, this comes from this Ambrosia team. They had like a pretty good run in the qualifier, and what ended up happening was after they lost to Thinking Men in the lowers uh, of the first qualifier, they ended up dropping Torify, um, who I believe was like on an off roll, something along the lines of that. Definitely not like you know the worst performer on his team, in my opinion. Uh, they ended up dropping him and picking up Exalt. So, like, the small amount of time that they had, you know, uh, before this, uh, playing with him, you know, they kind of scrapped and they just kind of, like, kicked him to the curb and they brought in Exalt. There's something along the lines of, like, him playing, like, Tarkov all day or something like that. And, like, people are, like, upset at him. Um, but I just thought it was hilarious that, like, they kicked him for Exalt and then they had the same exact result. Um, you know, with a person in that role performing the exact same. So, um, you know, definitely some unfortunate shit going on, but these qualifiers, man, they have been brutal. Uh, there were so many people in this first qualifier that lost and they immediately quit their team. They immediately quit their team and they just made a pug team. Or they just, like, put, made a team with, like, some of their friends. And I just don't really understand the expectation of that, like, how you even think it's going to go. I think that there are so many people who had the least productive off-season of all time. People are showing up to lands. People aren't even playing online tournaments. People are barely playing ranked. It's like, what do you expect to get out of it? Um, I'm kind of going back to our ranked example of being bad. I have a couple kind of clips to graze through here uh, from a sunset game. So 
the first thing that happens when I load in, I have to keep it muted because of the the uh, stuff playing in the background, the music. My Reyna immediately calls this guy out in chat, and then threatens him that he's going to stream snipe him. You know, we don't really give a shit. You know, we're just running around doing our own thing. This guy replies, nice. I'm pretty sure that they're like, they know each other. I, I don't really know other than that. So now he's typing in team chat, two to three viewers, yes sir. That's me. So now I like really know that he's going to do it because this guy is like not really known or, you know, whatever it may be. So what ends up happening here is, as you can see, there's five seconds left. This guy hasn't left spawn. Now he starts to move at three seconds, and he's just screaming in the mic, they're going B, they're going B, they're going B. They're going B, they're going B, they're going B. So we end up winning the round. But now I'm thinking about making it again. Was it what I just did? No, it's not just that. It's like playing off the team. They're mid, they're mid, they're mid. They're mid, they're mid, they're mid. Instantly called out. And we're, we're actually starting to believe him now. You know, yeah, maybe a joke at the start, you know, with your buddy. And, you know, there's only two bomb sites, so he guessed a B, maybe it was B. So Trick says, is he actually stream typing? And he says, yes. Yep, I am. Yeah, they are in mid. You know, they end up being here. Mid, mid, mid. Reina fight. Reina duelist. You know, I'm like trolling him a little bit because he's running around in spawn, you know, not fighting him, you know, making fun of him now. I mean, look at this guy. Look at the way he moves. No essence of crosshair placement, no sense of urgency. He's just running around looking at his other screen, trying to find out where people are. Here's our Reina, bro. I think Asuna. Early then. Jellyfish Jell is such a shit name. No blood of my all. I thought, I thought it was fire. They're going, a, they're, going a. they're going A, they're going A, they're going A. Eight seconds. There's nothing I can do, you know? Yeah, I can team Molly him, I can flash him, I can, you know, do all this other shit. As much as I want to do that, I'm the one who's at risk of getting banned for, like, griefing or being a piece of shit, by the way. Um, so, for everyone who wants to try to defend themselves or, like, you know, have some, you know, sort of like trying to stop something bad from happening. Just don't even risk it. Your account's just going to get fried. So I'm trying to like not stack the site that he's going to, you know, I'm trying to like make it seem like I'm playing like normally, you know, that I don't have this information. Yeah, I could have muted him, but at the end of the day, this is just like content, man. You know, there's, there's no high standard. There's, there's no whatever the fuck it is. Coming out low a lot. Come on, let's go. So he ends up dying. He pre called out that it's A. They're all here. You know. Now Trick's asking where they're going. He's like, they're going A. Oh, they end up going mid. Alright, mid. I'm like trying to like slice it up like, like these guys know what they're doing. So, you know, throughout the game, the same thing continues. There's a. It was a really funny round that I wanted to highlight here. Um, it was trick. It was trick going for a knife kill, and this guy was actually having like a seizure, like freaking out that we were gonna lose the round. And it, I just think it's so fucking funny that people do this. Oh. This is it right here. Watch this. Now that might just be the timing of the century. Oh man, he's very blind right now. Cover going out. Anywhere over here. So I'm trying to bait for trick's flank here. I'm trying to tell my teammate what to do. Remaining. Last default. I'm going for knife. I'm going for knife. No, just kill him, you're one. Listen to this guy. J just kill him. Just kill him, you're one. Don't lose the ring. Like, this guy's literally blatantly cheating. And he's actually, like, this worried about losing the game when he's cheating. Going, going for Don't, you're one. Don't do it. Chill. Chill. Baiting him. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice, guys. Keep it up. <laughs> Rain is just, like, freaking out, like, sweating that he's going to lose the round. Like, he's. Dude, I thought it was so funny. Anyway, you know, that's kind of like our conclusion here for, you know, this week in Valorant. Ranked is fucking terrible. You know, there's tournaments going on, like VCT. Challenge is going to be starting soon. Make sure you support the people who, you know, you care about or you appreciate, whatever it may be. Um, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, in terms of letting me know things that I can, you know, do better, stuff that you want to see, make sure to leave it down below. I'll try to get this uploaded before the C9 game, but it'll probably be after at this rate. Uh, but, you know, thank you guys so much, and I appreciate you. T-Dog out. Deuces.